Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Torrance the Sword Guy Builds, and I'm going to show you two ways to enter the arrowing corners when you're doing two-handed whip cracking. I will be using this pair of five-foot nylon stock whips. So a quick explanation, I've been told that Ben Hughes gave it the name arrowing corners. It is the four corners overhead and the arrowhead going underneath. The first way to get into it is to start the Queensland crossover, and then your following hand on the top We'll start doing the four corners. You're gonna start with the overhead crack in the Queensland crossover, which becomes the inside forward flick of the four corners. When you get that going, your lead hand, the one on the bottom, is going to start the volley. And this also has to start with the overhead crack in the Queensland crossover, which will become the forward crack in the volley. Once you get these two going together, all you need to do is turn the volley into an arrowhead. My reference point is the outside flick in the four corners. As soon as that happens, I know that my next forward crack in the volley needs to sweep sides, and that will get me into the arrowing corners. Other way to enter the arrowing corners from the Queensland crossover is to reverse those two things. Uh, your lead hand will do the four corners and your following hand will start the arrowhead. And this one comes in really fast. Once your lead hand goes into the four corners, your following hand is going to enter the arrowhead sort of like you're doing a breakaway. But the same rule applies. The overhead crack in the Queensland crossover will become the inside flick of the four corners. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps. Keep practicing and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.